I have no budget or I will never be able to earn back the money that I spend on my music promotion from royalties alone. Those are some of the concerns I hear from independent music artists day after day. And so today I'm super pumped to be joined by an artist in the hype to community who has blown me away with his ability to fund his music promotion. Hey, it's Johnny at Hyped It, and today I'm being joined by Gary Drano. Gary, good to have you on. Gary, in order to let everybody know how we connected, I'm going to tell just a little bit of a backstory here. So some of you may know that I host a coaching group called the VIP Circle. In the VIP Circle, I offer one-on-one -on -one support to a group of independent music artists. We meet every two weeks, we get together on Zoom, and we talk about everyone's goals and challenges and what the next steps in their career and the audience growth are and Gary just really blew me away with a comment that he dropped on one of the more recent VIP calls and the discussion and conversation was around promotional budgets and Gary said my budget for music promotion is unlimited and I was freaked out it's like whoever has an unlimited music promotion budget so Gary and I we dove a little bit deeper and decided to come together in this video here to share Gary's story with you because it's absolutely amazing what he's been able to achieve as an entrepreneur and for his music as a musician as well so gary thanks so much for joining john it is great to be here i am honored man excellent gary let's start somewhat from the beginning here tell us a bit about your journey your story as a musician and in the music industry the theme song from bonanza interested me enough that i wanted to learn how to play it on guitar and this was like age nine just for a reference i'm turning 70 in march so i've been playing for a very long time but when i was 12 years old driving up venture boulevard with my mother in a car eric clapton's cream's crossroads came on the radio and it hit me like a bolt of lightning that this is what I've got to do. And from 12 years old to now 70, I've been pursuing music like there's no tomorrow. It's been my driving thread throughout my entire life, through all my businesses. It's been music always. And now to John's point is I found a way to promote my music and stay a musician rather than having it as a hobby and have to give it up. I can do it as a professional. And that takes quite a bit of money, yes. it turns out. No, that's awesome. So I feel your passion for music. And obviously, we'll get to the amazing success story that you experienced over the last year. And just for reference, I know you're way past a million streams now on Spotify and then even multiple millions if you consider other streaming platforms. So you've certainly hit major milestones as you've grown your music. But let's start just before then. So you're out there, you're trying to promote your music. What were some of the roadblocks that you kept on hitting as you're trying to grow your audience and get more listeners and get more streams on Spotify? Uh, it really starts in the bar scene. Actually, I got to go back to 19 late 80s to 19 mid 90s. I was playing fairly decent sized venues in Southern California and Northern California. And I had an established band, which was Gary Dran and the Manic emotions and I was doing fairly well and then I moved up to Park City and something funny happened around the time I moved to Park City is that music went from a product to something completely different and that's with the advent of the internet and now people rent music they don't buy music anymore they rent it so the income that I was making selling music back in the 80s and 90s went completely away and I thought but if I pour enough money into this even now through YouTube and Spotify and Facebook ads that I could build a big enough audience that I could sell enough merchandise and music in a new format that I could support myself. That turned out not to be the case. I got in about a quarter million dollars worth when I realized eh, this is not going to work. So I started looking for business opportunities that would afford me the time to be a full-time musician, but make me enough money that I can promote my music with nearly an unlimited budget. Yes, that's awesome. And then, so what happened? What did you come across? What I discovered was this thing called 
called affiliate marketing. I read about ClickBank somewhere and the concept of promoting other people's products and getting paid a 60 to 80% commission just for sending them the sale or the lead was very attractive to me. I did something interesting. I found myself a VA, which is a virtual assistant in India, who was very computer savvy and has become an expert in the ins and outs of how you do affiliate marketing. So I spend about three to four hours a week on the business itself, maybe another hour a week managing her. And the rest of the time I'm doing music. That's amazing. And then I want to dive a little bit deeper, but just for our audience to recognize here how successful this business and this system that generates income for you to invest on the music side, how big that is, how much does it produce for you on a monthly basis? Right now, I'm pulling down between fifty and $75,000 a month. Uh, and that is my return on investment. That is after my ad spend, I am making fifty dollars to $75,000 a month. And I am in the early stages of growing my business. There are examples out there. My coach, Robbie Blanchard, who makes a million dollars a month. No kidding. So, yeah. So there is almost unlimited amount of money you could make depending on your ability to run big ad spend on Facebook. And that's primarily where it's at. There's another offshoot of the business where you collect email addresses and you build email lists and you market to these email lists either products on ClickBank or evergreen webinars, or in some cases, product launches. And all of them are paying between 40 and 80% commission for you simply handing the lead over to the seller. So you don't have any overhead to speak of other than your ad spend. You really don't need any employees except for a VA or two, which is virtual assistant. Obviously no bricks and mortar because this is all online and it's like a $25 billion business. So even though I'm a little late to the game, this was something that started maybe 10 years ago. So I consider myself late to the game. There's still plenty of room to grow. Yes. And Gary, when did you get into this? Not too long ago. About February of 2022 is when I got into it. Got it. All right. So that's amazing what you've been able to build over just two years. And just to break it down, affiliate marketing essentially is the business of selling other people's product for a commission that you're getting for the marketing efforts that you put into it. And ClickBank is a marketplace where product owners list the products that they allow other marketers to market for them. And then they will pay them a commission for every time one of these products is being sold. And how did you come across ClickBank in the first place? I just stumbled on to it. I saw a news piece on ClickBank uh, and uh, I said, wow, what's this? This is pretty interesting. And uh, right off the top, I figured out that this is promoting other people's products and you get paid a commission. It's crazy. Yep. That's and, it. And then how did you find that virtual assistant? I literally found a company that offered VAs. That's their business. It was yeah. called Virtual Hub. That's awesome. So many times we do these interviews, we spend a lot of time talking about music promotion. In this particular case, we're really talking about building a business to sustain a passionate career in music, which I think is so powerful. And I will acknowledge so that obviously that revenue that you're generating to put back into your music, you're not actually making it with your music, you're making it with other activities. But how easy or difficult would you say this is for the average musician to get into? I'm going to answer that in two ways. It is incredibly easy to get into it because it requires no employees except for your VA, almost zero overhead. I would say you need good credit to do this because you're going to be using credit cards to do your ad spend. And as you get more developed into this, you're spending to the tune of 100000 to more a month in ads to generate your income. But remember, your ROI is at the low end, 40%, at the high end, 60%. So that's a great return on your investment. I don't know any other business that you could do that. In. I had quite a few businesses before I moved to Park City. And if I made 30% ROI on my bricks and mortar businesses, 
I was doing great. This is a whole nother game with 40 to 80% return on your investment. And the way you do it is you keep putting your advertising money back in and you take your profits off the top and you put that into your music. I love it. Gary, if any musician is watching this right now, and it's like, this sounds amazing. I love what Gary has been doing. I think I can do this as well. Where's the starting point? How can I get going? What would be your advice? My advice is get yourself one of the top three coaches in the business. Robbie Blanchard, Caleb O'Dowd, or Matt Baycat. In my case, I've got all three and they're not cheap. For instance, Robbie Blanchard for his Avengers program is $10,000 right off the top. And your private coaching is $8,500 for every three months. So if you're going to do it the way I did it, you're going to need some investment capital. You can do this with just starting small with $5 ads, but you've got to get the nuts and bolts of the business down. And the only way I know that you can do this is through a coach who's already been successful in the business. And fortunately, they're out there. Some are more expensive than others. Some have little different programs than others. But bottom line is once you learn the system, it's to the bank. Yes. So it sounds like your approach was, hey, I want the maximum results in the shortest amount of time time. I don't want to mess around. So you went straight to the top to the leaders in the industry and you got coached by them on how to build this. And it's been a successful journey. Now you have had the benefit of having pockets deep enough to fund that initial investment, which not everyone has. I'm just curious for those music artists who would want to go on a similar journey that you are on in order to support a music career with a side hustle. Are there any other less expenses or even free resources that you would point someone to? There are. Robbie Blanchard, of course, has written a book about, and I probably have it around here somewhere, but written a book about affiliate marketing. So there are resources that you can find to help you along your way. But if you use Facebook advertising for your music, which if you're talking to me and John, you do, it's not a far stone's throw to figuring out how to run your ads for affiliate marketing. It's really the same process. Yeah. I love it. So what does life look like today as a musician with those resources that you've built for yourself? Let me just say that as long as you are able to figure out the art to promoting music and building an audience, which is the critical thing, is you've got to have an audience that's willing to buy a t-shirt from you. That's the only way you're going to make music, make money right now, is through merch sales. What I'm doing is I'm releasing one song a week and my streams have blown up because I'm constantly recycling new music in, but promoting the music that was from January 1st that they're still in their life cycle. So if you're sitting on a catalog of songs that you could either remix and reissue, or you've got old songs that you just never got to market, or you are prolifically writing songs like I am, releasing songs a week is a great way to grow your business and grow your audience. Yes. And is it fair to say that because you've been able to build that income stream for yourself, that now it makes it even easier to release more frequently because you can have more songs in their promotion life cycle in parallel at the same time. I couldn't have said it better myself. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Gary, this is extremely fascinating. And knowing that you have no financial worries about the way you can promote your music these days, how does life feel like as a musician? Uh, I'm free and I am currently collaborating with a guy in Australia, a guy named Chris Zupa. He's the guitarist for an Australian progressive rock group, Terra Maze. And I also have musicians in the Ukraine I'm working with, which is another thing for music. If you can collaborate with a bigger musician and get on their coattails, that's not a bad thing to do. Yeah, I think one of the things that really stands out with your story is that success in music really is a team sport. And Absolutely. You've, you've, you're seeking the support and the collaboration with other musicians, with people who support your business, whether it's as virtual assistants or as coaches to learn new things from and then implement in your business. So I think that's so valuable and amazing to see. So thank you so much for sharing that, Gary. The one thing I've done that's clever, I think, is all my music is under the brand of Gary Drano. And I have all my collaborating musicians under contract where they get a percentage of my ultimate business 
but I own 100% of the publishing, 100% of the royalties. I love it. Everybody who is watching this video now and is thinking, ah, I really want to check out Gary's music. Gary, where can they find your music? Let me think. Oh, Spotify. I have a This Is Gary Drano Spotify playlist. And what I do is when I release a song, I make sure it goes from the bottom of the playlist to the top of the playlist. And uh, I just keep adding songs to the playlist. I now have 35 songs on the playlist that are all getting streams. And it's growing one song a week. So. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to leave a link in the YouTube video description below. So if you want to check out Gary's music, just open the description, click the link, and you'll be streaming Gary Drano on Spotify. Gary, thanks so much. It's been an absolute pleasure having you and sharing your story with us. So I wish you best of luck and thanks again. John, you're the greatest guy out there. I'm going to leave you with that. So goodbye. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Gary, thank you. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up, literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Growth Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.